29-year-old Greg Hill admitted to a judge Friday morning that he was guilty of sex-related crimes. Solicitor Ed Clements, who prosecuted the case, called the crimes very disturbing. Because of the two places you expect your children to be safest, church and school, was where um, these charges originated. In 2009, the former Mullins High School coach met a 14-year-old at a Dillon church. The two began to Skype, and in one case, it involved the girl doing things on Skype to sexually arouse him. In 2010, Hill showed a picture of his genitals to a 15-year-old girl at Mullins High School. There was no physical contact in either incident. It seems that this defendant actually went out of his way to avoid physical contact until they were of age. It seemed like he was trying to set himself up for once they became of age, which is somewhat bizarre, and I've never seen anything like that before. What's also unique about this case is that the victim's families did not want Hill to serve prison time. The judge took that into account and sentenced him to five years probation. Hill also has to register as a sex offender. He'll be on the sex offender registry for the rest of his life, which is a very, very uh, serious burden to have to carry. Greg Hill apologized to the victims and their families, and his attorney says he's seeing a counselor. In Marion, Tanya Brown, News Channel 15.